embed versus link. All right, so there's a link between two programs. You can make it so anyway. You could choose the other path. So in GIMP, if I just, let's say, take a brush and I add something to this. Very low res thingamajig. Some cross hatching of nature. And I go like this File, Export. In the last video, we exported to a file name, a PNG called Convert to Vector. You can just export that. And then in Inkscape, if I go File, Import, and Open, I'll use the Link feature this time. Okay, well, that stuff is there because I just imported it. But let's go back to GIMP. Let's add a little bit more. Again, file, export, then back to Inkscape, and there it is. It updated. But now, to convert it over to vector, we have to do that by hand. That doesn't update real time. So if I ever want to update this to vector, I would have to go trace bitmap. And I'll hit update and hit OK. And there is that stuff that I just drew. So you can see those pixelated lines. What I'm trying to say is, it's very important to know that you can draw at a really low resolution because look at the pixelated lines. They turn into like art in itself. I love that. Look at all these webs. It, and as long as you're adjusting that threshold, you can get whatever level of that blobbiness you want to get. But those blurred pixelated lines, blurred in this area, and then just pixelated in that area, turns out to nice stylized cross-hatching. So now you know that if you have the ability to just draw, you can really translate it over to something very stylized. So, enjoy. That is the difference between embed and link. Let's move on to the next video.